All right, guys, here we go again, and uh, let me make sure that I do the necessary. There we are. We have the uh, Mets for you here once again as we continue to struggle through 1962. Quick look at the standings, um, and uh, the Mets now six games behind the Dodgers. 37-23 and 23 are the Mets. 47-21 and 21 are the Dodgers, so uh, we're going to have a bunch of doubleheaders coming up. Hopefully we do a little bit better and stop splitting doubleheaders with teams in last place. The Cubs, by the way, 22-44. and 44. How about that? Back to uh, the American League standings. Uh, the Twins of 47-17, and 17, of course. We looked at this last time. Ten games in front, and they're running away with it. And here we go with the game. It's going to be Tommy Aaron here uh, leading this off uh, for the Braves. And he'll be up against Bob Ojeda. We have the Battle of the Bobs today. This is Bob Shaw for the Braves and Bob Ojeda for the Mets. And uh, there's a ground ball by Tommy Aaron over to third, and uh, there will be no play for Knight. He uh, starts to throw and then stops, and so Tommy Aaron has the infield single, and that'll bring up now Joe Adcock, and so we go into double play depth, and here we go again. Uh, remember, we're not sure if double play depth actually does anything. There's a strike to Adcock and a ball inside. It's one and one. There's a ground ball over to second. It's Santana to Backman and on to Hernandez. So apparently it helped that time, two away. And uh, here now Hank Aaron. And he hits a ground ball to Santana, and he throws on to first, and that does it. That was a very quick half inning. And uh, so now we go to the bottom of the first inning, and uh, there is, uh, of course, no score. Here is Lenny Dykstra. Bob Shaw with a 4.55 VRA is 5 and 6 as Dykstra hits this one foul. Dykstra hitting now 339. He's a little bit cold and uh, was a little bit cold there against the Cubs. Um, fouls one away, 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 2 now on Dykstra. And this is hit over to short. That's going to be a real easy play for the shortstop, McMillan, who throws the first. One away. Mookie Wilson now with 27 stolen bases takes the strike, 0 and 1. Hit deep to center. Uh, that's going to be a loud out. Uh, it's going to be uh, over the head, I'm sorry, of Aaron. He drops that one is what happened. Didn't pay much attention to that one and sort of dropped it. That's going to be an air there on Hank Aaron. What an unusual play. That'll bring up Keith Hernandez with the runner in scoring position. 55 driven in for him. He has this one down the left field line, but, or right field line, I'm sorry. Just foul, 0-1. Next pitch on the way. That's fouled away barely by Hernandez. It's 0-2. This is hit, foul to the right side. That'll be out of play. Inside, one and two now. Blast to the center, that's gonna fall in front of Aaron and uh, here comes Wilson around to score and they're not gonna be able to catch Mookie. One, nothing Mets and uh, this is what we like to see. The Mets out to an early lead. Here comes Daryl Strawberry. 11 home runs and he takes the ball outside. There's a strike, one and one to Daryl. Fouled away is one and two. Hit down the left field line, but foul. Held up that time, two and two now the count. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. There's two away now, and Strawberry, I think it's his 82nd strikeout. That'll bring up uh, Ray Knight. And he's popped up. That'll be easy for uh, the third baseman. It's uh, Matthews making the catch here for the out. And uh, that does it for the Mets. So the Mets get the one run, that's all. On to the top of the second we go. It's one nothing Mets. Here comes Eddie Matthews. Matthews, 15 home runs, and he takes the ball inside. Screwball from Ojeda. And that's a ball inside again, 2-0. Oh, that was a fastball. Swing and a miss. It's 2-1. and one. This is golfed over to the center, but uh, Lenny Dykstra is there, and he waits on it and has it for the out. One away. Del Crandall now takes the ball outside, 1-0. Oh. Hits this over to right. Strawberry on the run. That's out of play, out of his reach. 1-1. One and one. Away, 2-1. and one. Hit over to right center field, but Darrell will be there for the out. Two away. Here now is Frank Bowling. Hitting 138 against the Mets. It's this uh, on a uh, fly over to uh, center field, and that's easy for Dykstra. He makes that catch for the out. And so we go now to the bottom of the second inning. It's 1-0 uh, Mets. Here comes Wally Backman. Backman uh, tries to uh, pull that uh, pitch outside. Instead hits it to short. McMillan throws to first. There's one away, and here comes Santana. Hitting only 193. We had him wait, rest out that doubleheader. And it may have done him some good as he starts it off with a base hit. 
So one for one now with Santana. It brings him up to 198. That'll bring up Ed Hearn. He hits a double play ground ball to McMillan, and it's 6-4-3. Uh, Probably should have bunted with uh, Hearn, so uh, so much for that. We went out of the top of the third inning. It's uh, still 1-0 Mets. Here comes Mac Jones. Back the ninth, and he takes a strike, 0-1. There's a ball inside. Berthold Brecht, right? Another one low and in. 2-1 two and one on Mack the Knife. 2-2. Two and two. We won't regale you too much with stories of left-wing uh, plays from uh, the early 20th century. It's a full count now on uh, Jones, and he hits a ground ball over to second. And that's uh, Backman making the play, throwing to first for the first out. Here comes uh, McMillan. Ball outside to Roy. And a strike. 1-1. Outside, 2-1 and one with that changeup. This hit uh, off the fist over a little pop-up. Strawberry has that in right field, two away. And here comes Bob Shaw. That's high. Upstairs, 1-0. and oh. This is hit over to left now. And it'll be Mookie running in and grabbing that for the out. And uh, Ojeda's gone through another inning. We are going to the bottom of the third. one nothing Mets. And here comes Ojeda up to bat. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1-1. There's another strike in there. 0-2. There's a ball inside. 1-2 and two the count now on Bobby. 2-2. Two and two. Just fouled that one away. It remains 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. So one away and up comes Len Dykstra. Dykstra hits a ground ball over to Short, and uh, McMillan fields that, throws to first, and there's two away. Here comes Wilson. Hookie hit a double, and boy, this is hit deep to right. That baby's gone. Four hundred three feet out to right field. Mookie Wilson with that home run. And that is his sixth home run of the season. He has some power. How about that? Here comes Keith Hernandez. Someone said they'd rather have Willie Wilson than Mookie. I'm not sure about that. I'm still not sure about that, to be honest with you. And Hernandez follows that up with a base hit to uh, center. Runner on at first now for Daryl. Fouled away by Strawberry. 0-1. There is a ball low. 1-1 one one now to Straw. Swing and a miss. He looks so bad. Yeah, 82 strikeouts this season. How about that? That's hit deep to center. That's going to be over Aaron's head. And that's going to be a triple, I think, at least for Strawberry. He could have an inside-the-park home run. No, he dives into third. Triple for Daryl Strawberry. And, uh, of course, that's another one of those strange animations where um, they have to have Hank Aaron sort of walk around or something like that because they don't know where to place the triple. Triple probably should have been placed over here in one of the gaps. So 3 nothing Mets, and here comes Knight. He takes a strike outside corner, 0-1. And, and there's a ball inside, 1-1 one one to Red. And that's almost, ooh, that was almost a wild pitch, but uh, Crandall was able to get on top of that. Two and one. There's a ground ball over to McMillan. He'll throw to first for the out, and that does it for the Mets. But the Mets add two tallies in the uh, bottom of the third. We go now to the uh, top of the fourth inning. It's a 3 nothing lead for the Mets, and uh, here comes Tommy Aaron again. There's a ball inside to Aaron. 1-0 hitting 196, and he's hitting leadoff. 2-0 oh now the count. What are they thinking? Foul the way is two and one. Now we've we've talked about that a lot. Remember, right? We've talked a lot about you know who you want to hit lead off and you know why you, I had Ted Williams up there. It's two and two. And it's just fouled the way. I mean, your lead off hitter is going to get most of the plate appearances, right? You want somebody who can you know do something with them, like at least get on base and hopefully do something big. Aaron lies this to uh, right center field, and Strawberry had no chance on that. That's an easy stand up double for Tommy Aaron. So I shouldn't talk about him too much. There's a ball outside to Joe Adcock because um, he gets ideas and gets hits like that. Two and one now the count on Adcock. And this is hit over to left, but uh, it's going to be foul. Wilson can't get there in time. Two and two. This is hit deep to left. Wilson's going back on this, and he's got it. It wasn't that deep. And here goes the throw to third, and uh, Mookie has thrown out Aaron. Double play, and that's a rare one. What is Tommy Aaron doing trying to go to... Uh, third base with the uh, ball hit right in front of him in left field. Poor base running by the Braves. Two away, and here comes Hank Aaron. Three nothing still Mets, and there's a strike in the outside corner. It's hit over to right field, and that's in there. It's going to be double, at least for Hank. 
Strawberry gets to it in time and uh, hits the cutoff man, and Aaron is in there with a the double. So Hank Aaron now one for two. And here comes Eddie Matthews, and he'll take a strike inside. Hank Aaron always hitting well. Ground ball over to Hernandez, and Keith uh, fields it, goes over to the bag himself for the out. And uh, that does it. So we go to the uh, bottom of the fourth inning. It's uh, still a 3 nothing lead for the Mets, and here comes Wally Backman. Ball inside to Backman. Waited on that one, hit a ground ball over to second, and uh, Bowling fielded that through to first. One away. Here comes Santana. There's a strike in the outside corner. And another curve in there, so it's 0-2 on Rafael. And Santana uh, was jammed on that, hit a ground ball to McMillan, who threw to first. Two away, and here comes Ed Hearn. Ball low. That's high and inside, 2-0. Little ground ball over to third. Matthews has to hurry, and he's uh, got that in time. Hearn is not much of a runner. And uh, so we will go now to the top of the fifth inning. Um, it's a 3 nothing lead still for the Mets. Here comes Del Crandall. By the way, Carter not in there. He's a little tired. There was a ball low and away. And that's fouled away 1-1. One one. With the Mets a couple games behind, we definitely want him to rest up because we're going to need him later on. 2-1 and one the count. And this is a fly ball over to right, and that's just foul. It's 2-2. Two and two. Hit again to right, and in comes Strawberry. He's got that for the out. One away, and here comes Frank Bowling. Hit over to left center field. On comes Dykstra, but uh, it hangs up enough for him. Dykstra makes the catch. Two away, and here comes Mack the knife again. And he takes a strike. 0 and 1. Good pitch by Ojeda. There's a ball away. 1 and 1. Fouled away, so it's 1 and 2. That's uh, down the heart of the play for strike three. What a pitch to take. So Jones strikes out looking. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning, and it's a 3 nothing lead still for the Mets. And, uh, of course, here comes Ojeda again. Ground ball to first. That'll be easy there for Adcock. One away. Up comes Dykstra. They have the third baseman drawn in. 0-1 oh, the count. Interesting defensive strategy. Don't think that Lenny's going to bunt. This is hit foul. 0-2. Oh, that's low, 1 and 2 the count. Foul the way, remains 1 and 2. Swing and a miss, and down he goes, and Dykstra's in a slump. The 2 away, here comes Mookie. There's a ball outside to Wilson, 1 and 0. Oh. Swing and a miss, 1 and 1. And just fouled that one away, 1 and 2. Swing and a miss, down he goes. So Wilson with another strikeout. I looked that up a little while ago, um, and I do think that he's striking out more um, than normal. So we go to the top of the six, and it's a 3 nothing lead for the Mets. Here's Roy McMillan. It does feel like Mookie Wilson striking out more here than he did in real life. There's a swing and a miss by McMillan, and a ball low, 1-1. One one. Strawberry, by the way, and it's a 1-2 count now. Strawberry's probably on line with what he did in real life. And he went around that time. Strike three. One away, and here comes Bob Shaw. Fouled away. It's 0-1. There's a ball outside. 1-1 one one the count. It's hit down the left field line, but foul. 1-2. and two. Boy, he really hit that one far. And that's a ball. 2-2. Two and two. That's a long way to hit it for a pitcher. Swinging a miss. Down he goes. Third strikeout for Okita, and here comes Tommy Aaron. Aaron hits a fly ball over to right, and uh, Strawberry's there for the out. And uh, so the Braves go down quietly again. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning, and it uh, remains a 3-0 lead for the Mets. Here is Keith. That's going to be hit through the uh, hole in the right side of the infield for a base hit. So Hernandez settles for the single, and that'll bring up Daryl Strawberry. Strawberry takes a strike. He's 1-2 for two today. Drove in a run last time up. There's another strike. 0-2. Oh That's a hit foul. 0-2 oh it remains. That's low 1-2 now. Strike three. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. And there's one away. Here comes Ray Knight. There's a strike in there tonight. And a ball low. 1-1 one one on Ray. 2-1 now. 
Ground ball the sh second, that's going to be two. It goes uh, to uh, the shortstop and on to first for the double play. And that's going to do it. Therefore, the Mets in the uh, bottom of the six. We go now to the top of the seventh inning. This one a much faster paced game than we've been used to. Here comes uh, Joe Adcock. First pitch swing hits this over to center, and uh, Dykstra's going to be there for the out. He makes the catch. There's one away. Hank Aaron up there now. He'll take a strike down the heart of the plate, 0 1. And there's a ball outside. Inside, 2 and 1. Blasted to right, and they're on comes Strawberry, and he's there in time for the out. Two away, and here comes Eddie Matthews. Swing and a miss by Matthews. It's 0 and 1. There's a ball outside, 1 and 1. Ball is low, 2 and 1 the count. It's fouled away, it's 2 and 2. Just low, full count now. It's fouled away. Let's head over to right, but Strawberry's there for the out. And uh, so now we go to the bottom of the uh, seventh inning. And uh, it's going to be Wally Backman here. Mets still with the 3-0 lead. There's a strike slider. And it's a ground ball over to sec uh, short. And uh, the throw to first is in time. Good play by McMillan. One away. Here comes Santana. One for two is Rafael, and he takes a strike. Ground ball back to Shaw, who throws to first, and there's two away. And uh, that will bring up now Ed Hearn. Grounded foul to the right, 0-1. There's a ball low, 1-1. That's hit over to right. That's going to be out of play, 1-2 and two to count. And boy, they call that curve strike three. On the black, I suppose. Going out to the top of the eighth inning. This game going quickly. Here's Del Crandall against uh, Bob Ojeda. Ball low to him, 1-0. Oh. Ground ball to third. Knight throws to first and has him for the out. One away. Here's Frank Bowling again, and he takes the ball low, 1-0. Oh. There was a strike, 1-1. One one. Good pitch by Ojeda. Ground ball foul. It's 1-2. Way outside, 2-2. Two two. Swing and a miss. Down he goes. Got him to chase that time. So four strikeouts for Ojeda. Here comes uh, Mac Jones. Mac the knife takes the ball low. And another ball just inside. 2-0. That misses badly. 3-0. There's the strike. It's 3-1. That's popped up. That was in his kitchen. And it's going to be uh, Santana, the shortstop, coming over to the mound to grab that for the out. And uh, that's the way that one goes. We go now to the bottom of the eighth inning. It'll be Bob Ojeda coming up against uh, Bob Shaw. And uh, he takes the ball, screwball, then misses. 1 0. There's a strike. 1 1 is the count. It's a ground ball over to the third base side, and it's Shaw who feels that one, but Ojeda has that one beaten out for an infield hit. That was placed in the right place. It was a swinging bunt, and that'll bring up Dykstra. Ojeda has no speed at all. There's a ball inside of Dykstra, 1-0. And, oh. and there's a strike, 1-1 one one the count. Lenny in a slump. There's a strike in the outside corner, 1-2. And, and it's fouled away, 1-2 still. That was um, a, a pretty wicked curve, and Dykstra lined that one over to first. Adcock grabs that on the line and then goes back to first for the double play. So two away, and here comes Wilson. Dykstra's really been struggling. Wilson takes the ball outside, 1-0. There's another... Oh, it's a strike in the outside corner. It looked like there was in the same spot. And there's... Ooh, he went around that time. 1-2, uh, and two, now the count. That's low, 2-2. Two two. That is hit foul to the right side. It remains 2-2. Two and two. That's strike three called. A third strike just over the black again, and uh, we've seen Shaw do that before. So we go now to the ninth inning, top of the ninth. Three nothing lead still for the Mets. Here comes Roy McMillan. We take a ball outside, one and zero, and a ball inside, two and zero. The count. There's a strike. 88 pitches now for Ojeda. If you were wondering, this is hit over to center, and uh, Dykstra comes in on that, but um, it's a line drive in front of him, base hit. 
Here comes Joe Torrey, and uh, we'll go to double play depth. Torrey pinch hitting for Shaw, takes a strike. Hits this over to right, that's going to fall in front of Strawberry, so there's runners on first and second. And that will bring up Tommy Aaron, the potential tying run. That's in some trouble already. There's a ball to Aaron, five hits now for the Braves. Another ball outside, 2-0. 3-0 oh. oh is Ojeda miss, and it's uh, ball four. And now we have to decide what we want to do. We got two righties and a lefty coming up. I think we are going to go to the pen, and I think what we're going to end up doing is putting in a Roscoe. So we'll put in Jesse or Roscoe here and uh, see what he can do. We're not too worried about uh, run scoring. Ojeda was hoping we'd get another complete game, but it wasn't going to happen. He, uh, uh, Roscoe throws a ball high. Ojeda was, uh, had the pitch count for a complete game, but uh, he can't get anyone out here in the ninth. 2-0 pitch has popped up over to the left side. It's going to be easy for Ray Knight. He makes his catch for the out. And uh, it's called an infield fly anyway. There's one away, and here comes Aaron. And we'll try for a double play, but uh, this could end, change in a hurry. That's hit uh, deep down the right field line, but just foul. 0-1. It's fouled away. It's 0-2 quickly on Aaron. But this game could uh, go sour in a hurry, I'll tell you what. There's a slider outside. It's 1-2. and two. Hit deep to right, and uh, Strawberry goes back on that one, and he makes a huge catch. Amazing catch there by Strawberry. The runner, McMillan, at third, tags up, and he scores easily. It's a 3-1 to one game. Now there are two outs, and here comes another big power hitter, Eddie Matthews, with 15 home runs. Takes the ball inside. Foul is one away. It's 1-1. One one. There's a ball outside, 2-1. That's a foul, 2-2. Two two. Low for ball, 3. Foul the way. Blasted to center, but there's Dykstra. He's there in time. How about that for a quick game? The Mets win this one 3-1. to one. Takes us uh, under 25 minutes to play. I think this is the fastest OTP game uh, that I've done. One of the fastest that I've played yet. Uh, we didn't have a whole ton of walks, foul balls, and other things. Kind of a shame that Ojeda couldn't get the complete game, but uh, Roscoe gets the save, and it all works out in the end. Final score again, Mets 3, Braves 1. See you tomorrow with another one. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.